Hello and welcome to another episode of the SPG Grand Campaign here on the YouTube channel Speed Filling and Fellowship STF. My name is Andreas Norwegian Viking. I'm Wild. And I'm Speedy. And today we bring you episode number 66, The Hunt for Thrain. So that is a uh, fan-made scenario made for SPG issue 3, um, made by David O'Byrne and Thomas Harrison. Uh, it features Gandalf on the good side, and Thrain, and five Hundrogs mm. on the evil side. And they made this scenario to um, replicate some of the old SPG scenarios from way back when the first edition and second edition arrived. Where you just had a very few models and it was kind of a hide and seek game. Mm. And uh, I think one of the scenarios we will play in a couple of months, uh, which will be the, um, the Spies of Lake Town scenario, um, yeah. draws inspiration from, from this scenario, but also um, earlier scenarios from Lord of the Rings, yeah. where you have this investigation thing and you have to go around and hide in nooks and crannies and, and solve objectives on the go. Mm. So I've, I've been looking forward to play this scenario for, for ages, uh, ever since Articom, mm. uh, last year. So, uh, Have you played this? I haven't played it myself, I've, been, I've, I've watched three playthroughs mm. of it, uh, and uh, I've seen the actual terrain they made for the magazine live, uh, although as a part of the big, mm. big terrain piece. So uh, this is a small one. They they just use the basement. Yep. They may uh, Owen made for the gigantic uh, uh, Dolgaldor set. Yeah. So um, it has a nice pattern. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I think we should just show you uh, the rules, the board, and not the army, but participants. Yep. <laughs> pretty soon. So see you after the break. Delving deep into the maze of corridors under the dark tower of Dolgaldor. The Grey Pilgrim seeks to escape the fury of Azog the Defiler and his warriors, as well as uncovering the secrets within. However, in the dark halls there is not just orcs stalking him. In the corner of his wizened eye he spies a scuttling shadow, cackling maniacally as it run past. Too small for an orc, but too big for a goblin. And so begins the battle. The rules for this scenario is found in the SPG, a Middle-earth fanzine by the fans, for the fans. In issue number 4, Autumn 2016, and it was released at Articom 2016. And uh, it's already on page 3, The Hunt for Thrain. The layout, uh, it takes place on a 2x2 two two inch, uh, sorry, 2x2 two two feet board. <laughs> uh, set inside the dungeon labyrinth beneath Dol Guldur. The board should consist of a series of tunnels that interlink with each other in multiple configurations to allow the models to move around the board in a variety of different ways. There should be five objectives placed on the board, one within three inches of the center, uh, and the other four placed roughly six inches from the table corner. These are the objectives that Gandalf must design. And there you can see the, the labyrinth they've used, the basement for their dull terrain with the uh, objectives, Hunter Orcs, Thrain and Gandalf. Starting positions, uh, place Gandalf in the center of the northern table edge, Thrain within one inch of the central objective and one Hunter Orc within one inch of each objective. The good side has priority in the first turn. Neither force can be broken in this scenario. 
Well, Fran is already broken. That's besides the point. So well, there's evil in this scenario, so you don't have to roll Fran. Ah, good. <laughs> Uh, objectives. Good. Gandalf must successfully disarm each of the five objectives to reveal their secrets. Once this has been done, he must subdue Thrain. Evil. The evil forces must kill a Gandalf. Participants. Good. Gandalf the Grey. Evil. Thrain the Broken. Five Hunter Orcs. Special Rules. Sentries. The Hunter Orcs are unaware of Gandalf's presence and will remain so as long as the wizard can keep to the shadows. Instead of moving normally, at the start of each Hunter Orcs move, roll a dice and consult the table below. On a roll for one, the model may not move that turn. Two to five, the model is moved that number of inches by the player with priority. Six, the model moves as normal. If a Hunter Orc ends its move within three inches of Gandalf, it spots him and is no longer classed as a sentry, and may act normally for the rest of the game. The wizard has come, Gandalf has woven an in intricate web of spells to protect him and confuse the enemy. If any model wishes to charge Gandalf, they must pass uh, a courage test. You shall not blast. <laughs> <laughs> Gandalf is keen to avoid detection and will not risk casting sorcerer's blast, as the spell will cause far too much noise. Rain the Broken. At this point in time, Thrain has completely and utterly lost his mind and has no hope of coming to his senses. As such, Thrain does not roll for his shattered spirit rule and instead acts like any normal evil model, although he is not a sentry. Gandalf can charge Thrain as, norm Thrain as normal, but if he wishes the duel, he will strike no blows against the crazed um, dwarf unless he has disarmed all five objectives. A spell of concealment, Gandalf is exploring Dol Guldur and attempting to disarm the spells of illusion that are protecting the fortress of the Necromancer. These are represented by the five objectives. To disarm an objective, Gandalf must be within one inch of it and successfully cast Command. Once Gandalf has disarmed all the objectives, he may then attempt to subdue Thrain by defeating the dwarf in a duel and successfully rolling to wound. Of course, Gandalf is not actually striking Thrain, rather this represents him overpowering the dwarf and purging the evil from his mind. So, there is no light. Wizard. A lucky spat of courage test can spell doom for Gandalf in this scenario. If you find that Gandalf is struggling to win the game, try making the Hunter Orcs and Thrain roll three dice for the courage test to charge him and discard the highest result to give the Grey Pilgrim a boost. Um, channeled um, thingamajig spell, I can't terrifying remember. Aura. Terrifying aura. Yeah. And then it continues with um, three pages of, uh, of uh, battle report. I won't tell you who won. <laughs> but uh, I'm hopeful. Andreas will show you the uh, participant and the board. So here we have our version of the layout of the board. It's roughly the same, not completely, um, but it's it suits its purpose. There are loads of nooks and crannies to hide in, and um, the objectives are about as far apart on the, as they are in the scenario. So we have the two hunt rocks down here. We have an objective in each corner. You have objective in this side with a hunter orc in front of it. On the other side, identical. In the middle, we have an objective, a Thrain and a hunter orc. And on top of the staircase, coming down into the dungeon, we have Gandalf himself. So, um, good starts with priority, and I think we'll just show you the entire match uh, as it unfolds. So, we'll mount this on a steady, um, well, on a tripod, <laughs> and, uh, and show you it. Alright, so hopefully you can see everything that's happening. So in the middle of the board we have uh, Thrain and the objective, as well as Hunter Orc. Gandalf on the stairs over there. We have two Hunter Orcs, two Hunter Orcs, the four objectives on the edges of the board. So Gandalf starts the game with priority. So good luck. Good luck. Gandalf will um, call a channel. A channel? Yep. Wow. Like, uh... MTV, or, sorry, <laughs> he'll move down three inches and he'll cast uh, 
uh, terrifying aura. He already has that. Yeah, but it's channeled. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then moves three inches over here. Yeah. So the hunter dogs can't see him. So uh, we will uh, do the evil. Roll so for it. Yep. Roll for sentries. Mm -hmm. So what after or all? You can, you can start uh, with moving Thrain if you want to. Yeah. Thrain thought he heard a noise. Uh, so he'll move five inches. <laughs> Four inches to there and one inch to the corner. Yep. So on a roll of a one, I may not move the model. On a roll of a two to five, uh, it is rolled. Uh, it is moved by the player with priority. That's me. And on the six, I can move it. So let's start off with these guys. Just get a bit of practice with them. Mm -hmm. So this one, you can move. Just patrolling it on there. Yeah. And the other one, mm -hmm. you can it's, move it uh, as well. He's following, following his buddies. Following his friends. Damn it. Okay, so this one. Five, you can move him. He's uh, investigating in the corridor. Yeah, checking this room. He is. There's nothing in there. Uh, sure. He checked it this morning. Oh. Yeah. This one. Come on, six. No, you can move him. Checking in the same room. <laughs> Why? There's nothing in there. And this one. Mm -hmm. Is he in charge of getting off? No, he has to be within three inches to see him. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I roll a four so you can move him. Four, five, six. So there is uh, one inch squares on this. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's handy. Very handy. Yep. All right, so that is the first turn movement. Priority. Priority. Aye. Evil gets priority. Yeah. But Thrain can't see Gandalf because he had to be within. Oh, well, he can see him. He can see him. But he only has five inch move. Yeah, he's out. <gasps> so, but he can see Gandalf, and just like the movie, he's running towards Gandalf as fast as his little legs can carry him. So he'll stay outside one inch on there. Let's move Gandalf. Oh, well, there uh, and you, there. So oh, yeah. <laughs> there's we can count squares. <laughs> so uh, this one. No, I'll do this one first. One, hey, so it doesn't move. This one, two, so you can move him. You can move him because you have priority. I have priority, woo! Yep, let's use that one instead. Um, can he get past his buddy? Yeah, he could. So I'll move him to there. This one, one, so <laughs> it stays put. This one, no, come on, it's another one. And this one. It's a five, I can move him. So, I think Gandalf is going there. So, three inches. And another three inches up there. I think Gandalf will visit that one first. So, since you have already moved Thrain, I don't yep. need to, uh, to compel him or uh, immobilize him. So, nope. I'll move. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, and you have to be in base contact with the thing to... Yeah, and then cast commands. Mm. Or, is it base? I think it's base. Yeah, I think you have to be on the objective. Must be within one inch. Oh! So you should be within yeah, one inch. Um, and then I'll cast commands. Yeah. Uh, I'll spin a wheel. And it's... So I think it's, it's on, on a four fours. plus, so I'll. Uh, mm. Might point? Might point, yeah, might point. So you get this objective. Mm. So you have one out of five needed. Mm -hmm. Alright, so priority. Yep. Hoo it goes to evil. I think I've uh, spent all the magic in these dice. <laughs> Changing dice. So uh, Thrain will continue chasing after Gandalf. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Ish. <laughs> so he rounded the corner a bit faster yeah. than Gandalf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, can he move? He can. And you move him. 
I move him, so uh, get ready for an army of orcs. Well, army. And this orc, I get to move him. So we'll move him three to there and three to there. This one, five, so I can move him. Ah, oh, I should have moved him first. Should have, would have, could have. Yeah, but never mind. He'll go up there. This one, five, so he'll go. No. Oh, oh that, this one. So he will end up, uh, so he can see Gandalf, and then he is no longer a sentry. Yeah, so he'll go to there, and that means next turn he can charge Gandalf. Can try to. At and least. the last one, four. Hello, Gandalf. Yep. So Gandalf will um, cast a sorcerer's blast on him. No, you can't in the scenario. Oh, you can not at all. You can compel and transfix. Okay. Compel and command. So command. Okay, so I'll try to command him. Yep. On a four plus. Oh. I failed, so I'll charge him. Hmm. Fight. Uh, yeah, because I already fought. I rolled so a one. You rolled a one. So I win the combat. Yep. I push you back one inch. And needing five to wound Gandalf. Two and wounds. Two wounds. Two fights. Saves both. Two wounds in Gandalf. So priority five goes to you. Goes to me. Uh, good movement first. Try to command again. Yeah. Nope. Another one. <laughs> uh, well, if you move, I'll charge to him. Yeah, and charge on the other side. That yep. means they can't see him. Like so, yep. Mm. And then I'll start rolling for the evil models. Well, I, I can. Roll. Yeah, you roll and I. Move. You, <laughs> you, you probably will move them. Yeah. So let's do this one. Mm -hmm. Five. So you move him all the way up there. Sad face. This one. Two. So you move him as well. What has he done? Are you hiding him in the corner? Yep. Yeah. What has he done wrong? He's an orc. That's racist. I guess. <laughs> um, this orc, you can move him as well. And this orc. No, they, they are not sentries anymore, but they can't charge oh, yeah. since uh, they can't see yeah. Gandalf. So we'll just move around the corner. And he will actually move down there. I'm guessing five inches up. Yep. Are you suddenly threatened? No. Gun off. Combat. Gun off also two. It's a one better than the last one. So the orc wins, pushing yes. Gun off one inch away. Yep. And rolling two wound, getting one wound. Last point of fate. Gets it. Wow. Priority. Poor Gun off. I get a one. I get a two, so it goes to me. Any so heroics? Heroic move. Heroic move with Gamba. And I should. Um, well, I'll uh, immobilize him. Yep. When I left. And he's immobilized. Yeah, he is. So, uh, that means that this orc... All of these three are normal now. All of these three are normal now. Right, so you have to... It suddenly turned into a game with Pac-Man. Where Gandalf goes... Waka, 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 waka. And Thrain follows suit. Um, this orc rolls a five, so I move him. 
and that one in the corner. I can move them as normal. I should have um, spent more will and then strengthened will on myself. Mm. Maybe. Well, Maybe. It's, you use the free one to get one. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, priority. It is. Five, it's strong, and it goes to you, since I had it last. Yep. I will then... Yeah, I only have to use two inches. Two inches. Yep. And two dice, command. Mm -hmm. And it's not cast. Nope. Um, and I'll... Uh, can you and hide? I'll move. Four inches over here. Mm. So I'll follow you with these guys. Oh. <laughs> yeah, four should come back. That's the smart thing to do. Train stubby legs. So that one, you get to move him. Hey, bud. Hello. How are you today? Fine. And the other one? Stays. He doesn't want to because speak they to him. No, oh, they want to speak to him. <laughs> oh, they true. want to stay. Yeah, they have a conversation. Yeah. Alright, priority. Five. Five. And you get it. I can't get there without getting into your control zone. You can command them to go over there. But then I can't command that. Yeah, you can go three inches to the objective and then three inches back so he can't see you and charge. Yeah, but I can only cast one spell. Oh, that's true. So I'll go three inches. Yeah. And cast command. Mm -hmm. Cast. So you move him three inches. Can't move anymore for that turn. Yeah, and then three inches, and then the doorway. Mm -hmm. so this orc goes up there. Train. Thirty hundred noise over there, and this orc will go to there. So the two orcs chatting. First one nearest you can move as normal. I see. Yeah, move them over there. And. The one that had a visit on chatting, you can move. Was it just told to go back in the corner yeah. by the other guy? Yeah. Come on. Priority. Yep. It's a three. And it's a two, so it goes to you. I think it will be able to nab that objective. Four. Yeah. Ending up here, mm -hmm. casting commands on the objective. And gets it off? No. Nope. Oh, it's an Archon die. So I don't get it off. Oh, you should throw away your Archon die. I think so. We, we have to produce new ones with the six on the. Yeah, someone. Symbol on the someone six. made them on, on the, the symbol on the one. It wasn't me. It was me. I promise. So, um, Thrain goes over there. This one goes over to here. This one is feeling lucky. Goes over there. Uh, he was commanded last turn. Who? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So you can. You can we move. can't see Gandalf though. No. So you'll move just that door and. Ask him what is he doing there. So this one is not moving at all, and this one is moving under your command. So runs up the wall now. <laughs> okay. Check that room. Yep. Broad. It is. Goes to me. Goes to you again. Cast uh, command on the objective. Yep. Oh, come on. Should have done another dice, but 
Yep, and I'll stand there. If you want to roll two dice, you can. I'll stand there. Okay. So, the orc will charge Gandalf, rolling a... D3. No, sorry, D... No, 3, three D6. D6. <laughs> and discarding the highest. And he stays there. Yep. Looking stupid so at the wizard. So you won't get through. So it's train. And this guy. And this guy moves up there. This one is moved under your command. And the one that just checked the room back there, he'll move under your command as well. <coughs> Hiding there. Probably I'll have to kill him when I get in there. <laughs> Whenever. If he stays in the room. If I get there. Alright, so. Um, uh, priority. priority. It's a four. It's a two. Goes okay, to so I'll try to charge Gandalf. And I fail. Okay. So I'll cast command on the objective. I fail. Didn't you want to roll two dice? I want to say my will. Okay. So, let's roll for these guys. So yeah. Or he will move up yeah, here. Yeah, he will move there. So. so this is going to be a attrition game. So. Then it goes there. Yeah. So this one moves under your. No. Uh, yeah, you already yeah. want because you had priority. Yeah. So he's stays there. And the other one also. You look for uh, the guy he told to go into the corner. Mm. Priority. Priority. I did. Evil. So I tried to charge Gandalf. Yep. Well, I think you actually had priority, so you could move us last turn. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. Uh, I get it. Yep. So I can charge Gandalf through the doorway. If you can't get through. They're too big. They're in combat. Yep. Yep. Thanks. Into the door. Yep. And the rest of them will just stand there. And these guys, the first one, I can move. So I'll move him back. And the other one, I can move. So move him outside. There. About. Yeah. So combat. Let's see if we can kill Gandalf. You're all five. It's I'm good. Five. You win. win. You can kill him. Eating a four. Right, so he's pushed back though. Right. Yes. I get a one, you get a two, two. goes to you. Good I'll charge. try to charge Gandalf. I don't. So they'll just stand there and yep. be stupid. Um, this one orc, I can move. So something is happening over there. There's a huge ruckus. The other one, I can move as well. I cast command. Let's do two dice then. And, and you get it. Pass, I get that. No, I just need to get out of there. I'll then charge you. Okay, yeah. Combat. Yeah. Get a two. I get a double six. You win. Can we kill Gandalf? We do one wound on Gandalf. So Gandalf has no fate left. That was two wounds, wasn't it? No, it's a four. You have defense oh. of five. So. Things are looking grim. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Priority. Yes, sir. I get, get a six. six. I get priority. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I can't really do anything because I can't Sorcerer's Blast. You can command that one over to there and you can charge him. Mm, I get okay, yeah. Command on that guy in the doorway. Failed. I don't have really have much more will. No. So. I'll charge him. Charge him, yeah. Come out. And these or, guys, yeah. you move that one. And the other one, you move that one. They they wanted to investigate, but it was nothing. Oh, they mistook the sounds. Yeah. Give the wind. Combat can kill an orc. Not with a one. Oh, double two. So I win. And I do no wounds on Ganav, so he's just pushed back. The other way around. Oh yeah. I want to get out of that room. Yeah. Really badly. I don't have any care dice. I get a one for priority. Get your care dice. I get priority. I'll try to charge Gandalf and I can't. 
So this one I can move. So you definitely heard something over there. And that one. Yeah. I'll uh, try to command him. Mm -hmm. I do. Success. Yes. Charge him. Yep, and you can move around him as well. Blunk. Blunk. Okay, so Thrain will try to charge Gandalf. He fails, so the orc behind him can't get past. So the orc run will go to there. This one can't move, this one has to take a test. Oh, he can't see him because he's a sentry. Oh, well, that's yeah, that's the sentry test, so, so you, you can move him. You move. I have priority, yeah. You have priority. And the last one, you get to move as well, this one. Hmm. Alright, so combats. You get a five, five it's strong. Did you oh, get a but the most strong is a six. Pushes Gandalf back and doesn't do it. Yeah. So priority again. Fine. You get it. I'll command him. Mm -hmm. Nope. I'll charge him. Staying out. Of oh well, he he's he's uh, he's fine to move. Yeah. yeah. Right. So courage does the charge come off with uh, that guy. Uh, it's fine. Ooh, that's two guys in Gandalf. Courage him. doesn't him to charge Gandalf. Trapping Gandalf. Nope. And Thrain can't see Gandalf, so he will move around to there. Hey. This one. Uh, you move it. Won't be stalking in the corridor. And this one. You can move him as well. Alright. Combat. I got four attacks now. Three. We get a five highest. Oh, and we need fives to win Gandalf. Two fives and you win. Two fives. That's what we came. That was unlucky. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I think so. So, uh, so yeah, shall we come back in the post battle battle breakdown? Yes. Alright, so welcome back to the post-battle battle breakdown of this SPG issue 4 scenario, uh, the hunt for Thrain. Mm. So, I think Gandalf was a bit unlucky. Uh, you rolled poorly on the, the priority rolls you needed to make. And, uh, and yeah, so, I think the, um, the terrifying aura saved you from a couple of them. Yep. I might feel like you needed the might more to move. Probably. Um, but... The cool thing about this scenario is it has immense replay value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to play this like eight or nine times more, just to play different versions, try out new strategies. Mm. Um, and yeah, so uh, so if you are able to like make an, a replica of the board, mm. uh, because this this doesn't have as many nooks and crannies as the original board from SPG Magazine, mm. because we weren't able to replicate it exactly. So I think Gandalf could have hidden a bit more yeah. in, in the other one. Yeah. But a cool detail with the uh, alcoves from the... Uh, where's this from? The train set? Um, battle systems dot ko dot uk. Yeah, battle mm -hmm. systems. So, uh, so you can make loads of different things with this. Uh, this yeah. so they have, they have this uh, like dungeon set. There's have, even a Stargate. Yeah. And then there's it was a Kickstarter, so we have Forge. You can make multiple levels. Uh, there are treasure. Um, there is a several different science fiction sets. There are also a um, city, like urban, like zombie, oh, yeah. zombie style, uh, apocalyptic uh, city. So that's pretty cool with all the. Um, set dressing, like tables and chairs and stuff as well. Mm. And as for, for example, this game though specifically, what would you have done to tweak the rules a bit to have a very different scenario, or a different, not a scenario, but 
different game experience. Yeah, different narrative for it with uh, different wizards, different place with the same uh, same basics. Yeah, yeah you, you could replace Gandalf with Radagast mm -hmm. and the uh, orcs with hedgehogs and he's looking around for his hedgehogs <laughs> in, uh, in the basement of, uh, of Roskobol. Because he doesn't know where to go, so uh, yep. that could be fun. Or would he then be charged and assaulted by his no, he, cuddles? He's trying to cuddle them. Cuddle them. And if he gets wounded too many times, that means he succumbs to their cuddles and doesn't find the spell he's looking for. Yeah. <laughs> off uh, the, you said off the top of my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to know how your head works anymore. I think, <laughs> well, I think hedgehogs are cute. By all means, they're cute. Yeah, really cute. I just wouldn't even imagine that variation of it. <laughs> it is kind of up there along with my little pony version of this. Well, Alessio Cavatore has made a role-playing game for My Little Pony. So don't diss My Little Pony, it's probably great. It might be. Alessio made it. <laughs> Alright, so uh, enough rambling. I, I think this is a cool scenario. You can mm. play it at as many times as you want it doesn't if you do make the train board it is two by two feet yep. so it doesn't take up that much shelf space no. uh, it is a cool way to reintroduce an old style uh, Lord Rings um, mm. aspect of the scenarios where you're just you're moving around and, and you can play the game so many times I think we play this for like 15 to 20 minutes yeah making the train uh, took longer yep so uh, <laughs> So I, I think uh, I think you can do this quite a lot before you get bored of it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, cool scenario. Mm -hmm. um, unlucky for Gandalf, but then again he is captured. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So he, he doesn't really find out what's happening and, until it's it's too late. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, we will join you next week uh, for the final. Um, but a cop comedy of uh, Thrain and uh, Gandalf, where they are trying to escape uh, the clutches of Azog, yeah. uh, running away from uh, from Dol Guldur. So that'll be the final mission uh, before we head on to actually fight the ne Necromancer, mm -hmm. head on with the entire White Council, yeah. mm -hmm. all of them. So, uh, so yeah. Um, and for all of you who already support us on Patreon, um, thank you so much for your support. It really does make a difference for us. A difference for us, sorry. And uh, if you do want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. We can, for as low as a dollar each month, support us by, um, by well, for a dollar or more. You get cool perks uh, like an exclusive video each month. Uh, the top, of, uh, the higher tier levels get free dice. The Patreon who rolls immense amounts of sixes uh, as well as other cool perks like a discount from Deep Cut, Cut Studios and others uh, so do check that out in the link below and as always please comment like share and subscribe and support your hobbit hobby